Hi everybody, this is Lars Wemje for Nukipedia, and welcome to volume 3 of our new video series, Useful Nukipedia Tools. Today's video is about the tool Default by Simon Yokushis. With Default, you can not only customize the default knob settings of the nodes in Nuke, but you can also save, export, and import your default knob settings as presets. With these presets, multiple artists can work on one machine and easily switch to their own knob default preset. This is the link where you can find the default script on Wikipedia. Normally, you have to do some scripting to set your custom default knob settings in Nuke, but the default tool takes care of the scripting behind the scenes. Let's take a blur node for example. To set its size value to a particular custom default value, you just have to type in your custom value, like 1, right click on this field, and under default, you can click on Set as new knob default. Now, if I create a new blur node, the default value I set for this knob stays the way I set it. There are some areas like drop down menus that can't be edited the same way because a right click on them will not get you to the setup of the default tool. But let's say, for example, that we want to use the default tool to change the default channel settings of the blur node from all to alpha. To do that, we just have to right click into any of these value fields of the blur node, go to default, and click on show knob list. That opens up this menu in which we can pick the knob we want to modify. In this case, I'll pick the setting for the channels. Then I'll set this to alpha, and click on OK. Now, if I create another blur node, you can see that the setting for the channels is now set to alpha by default. In the upper menu, under Scripts, Default, and Defaults window, this menu makes the whole process of creating your custom knob defaults very enjoyable and easy to manage. In here I can create new custom knob default settings, Check the validity of the knob defaults I want to set. I can edit them, delete them, create custom knob defaults presets, export them, import them, rename them, delete them, and quickly activate any one of these knob default presets by just selecting one of them out of this list then you only have to restart Nuke to activate the preset you have just selected. And finally, if you have deleted an entry for a node in the defaults window, but the node does not get reset to its original default values, you just have to restart Nuke and then the node will be reset. Alright, that's it for this episode. If you have any tool suggestions, just send an email to admin at nukipedia.com. Again, my name is Lars Wemje. Thanks for watching and goodbye, everybody.